Hey underwater photographers, this is Ran again from Mosaic Underwater Cameras and we are on day 11 of the Redive project. Uh, the Redive project is a project that we've initiated in order to support the dive industry after the COVID-19 crisis and we are inviting photographer, photographers from all over the world to share their amazing underwater photos one subject at a time on Instagram. And as like every other day, I will be sharing my own tips on how to shoot better photos of the daily subject. <clears throat> All of these uh, tips will be uh, united into one ultimate guide to shooting marine life that will be published on our blog at Mosaic Underwater Cameras and you will be able to access them for your future trips. So the theme for today, day 11, is nudie brank. And yes, it is pronounced nudie brank and not nudie branch, just so you know. So my first tip for shooting nudie ranks is shoot them from the front. And yes, I know it's hard to determine what is the front because nudie brank are sea slugs. They're really small um, and sometimes it's not really uh, obvious exactly what is the front side and what is the back side. So for your classic nudie ranks that have the antennas or the rhinophores, you will know that that is the front side of them and the gills, that little flower on their back side, that would be um, the back side. So when you do find them, then try to shoot them from the front, as long as they enable you, of course. If the nudie rank is simply hiding inside a coral, it might be difficult. But if you're able to shoot it from the front, then please shoot it from the front. It's going to look much, much better. You could, if you want, just shoot the gills, which is a nice shot. But remember that you're shooting something's butt. So that's not as nice as shooting it from the front. Uh, the next thing is you want to shoot them at eye level. And again, I know this is really really hard because nudie rank usually nudie ranks usually stay kind of very low um, and when you do find them it's either on the bottom maybe it's on a coral but usually it's really hard to get eye level with them but you have to do it because getting eye level with the nudie rank is really the best way to get a nice shot if you shoot from above it just doesn't look good and I've seen so many photos of nudie ranks just shot from above it's not interesting it's not a nice shot it might be good for just, you know, seeing what species it is, identifying it, but it's not really nice as a photographer, as a, you know, professional photograph. So you do have to shoot nudie ranks at eye level and uh, yeah, just do what, your best to try and get there. And that way you really get a nice shot of their face and you can get the body nice and blurry and you have the background nice and blurry instead of the messy um, bottom of the coral or sandy bottom or whatever it is. Uh, another cool thing is that sometimes, not all species do that, but some nudie ranks that are more active and they would move around more, you would actually see them stretching up. So they would be uh, crawling along the coral and then at some point they kind of stretch up, usually when they reach like a little cliff or something. So they try to look, you know, what's going on and maybe jump over to the next coral. And that's a perfect time to shoot them because then they're uh, actually exhibiting really nice and interesting behavior and they look really good and it's also easier to get eye level and shoot them from the front when they do that. So uh, try to find nudie ranks that are moving and try to wait for a good time to shoot them when they're stretching up just like this one. Another thing and this is true for a lot of different macro shots as well but you want to use a smaller aperture because when you use a fairly large aperture only a bit of the nudie bank will be in focus so only maybe the rhinophores might be in focus and the rest will be totally blurry. So you do want to use a slightly smaller aperture uh, in order to get the entire body or at least you know most of the body in focus and not just the rhinophores um, which are nice but you know you want some you want some more of it in focus. Um, for this shot I used about f10 I believe on a DSLR so that's kind of a medium uh, aperture. Another thing is because they don't move that much they give you an opportunity to actually experiment with lighting. So in this specific photo, I actually added some blue light from the left side with my video light in order to give it sort of a nighttime um, sort of theme. Uh, but you can definitely experiment with using snoots. You can experiment with uh, creating a black background uh, and any other type of lighting you've always wanted to try. Nudie Branks are an excellent subject to actually try that on. And my last tip, I like to call Nudie Brank on a Hill. So Nudie Brank on a Hill is like the holy grail of underwater photography because it's a great subject, it's colorful, it's beautiful, it doesn't move that much, and if you find one that's positioned on a high ledge, like perched on a high ledge, just like a hill, then that would be like the perfect subject, because you can shoot it from any angle you want, you can try any type of lighting that you want, and basically you can get an amazing 
photo from a nudie rank on a hill or any other beautiful subject perched on a high area for that matter. I just like to call it nudie rank on a hill. So in this specific photo, we actually found two nudie ranks mating on a hill. Oh my God, you know, best subject ever. The entire group took amazing photos of it and everybody loved it. Uh, so that was just a lucky subject to find. But you do want to look for those um, subjects that are easier to shoot, just like Nudie Bank on a Hill. And subject selection is really one of the most important uh, topics about underwater photography. If you want to learn more about it, you're welcome to join me in one of my workshops. So uh, this ends the Redive project for today. So please post your Nudie Bank photos on your Instagram. Ha uh, use the hashtag Redive Project by UW Cameras, which is Mosaic Underwater Cameras Instagram handle. And uh, until then, I will see you tomorrow with the next subject. Take care.